In the most recent episode of our fire series, we did a detailed in-depth how-to on bow and drill fire making, mostly done with modern cordage. But what if you needed natural cordage for your fire bow? Well, some of our favorite natural cordages are about to face off in a bow and drill challenge, and you'll be surprised, just like we were, at who emerged as the victor. That is coming up. Hey, I'm Luke. This is Wilderness Strong. We consider natural cordage an essential element for wilderness survival and being able to thrive out in the wild. So how about natural cordage for bow and drill? Let's dive in right now and compare some natural fibers to see which one comes out on top. We're gonna to start with maple trees. Maple trees are extremely common and I think underutilized when it comes to cordage. We've used maple cordage for a variety of projects through the years. Let's see what it can do when we snap on a drill and get some friction going. Now maple cordage is not what we typically use when we need something with durability and strength, but it's still important to know what's possible. So is it possible to get a fire using maple cordage? Absolutely. But for us, it was only good for one fire and it broke on the second attempt. However, it's good to know that you can get a fire going using maple cordage if you had to. We will always love cottonwood trees. I personally know several people who actually complain about this tree and they do everything they can to rid it from their property but me, I've been transplanting cottonwoods onto my property for almost 20 years. It's incredibly resourceful for primitive bushcraft projects and wilderness survival, and we've used it for cordage for many years. But how about for bow and drill cordage? Well, not so much. Cottonwood was eliminated early on in this competition, and it broke after only one attempt and no fire. Our conclusion, though, is that it is possible to do, so we're not giving up on it. But you're better off giving cottonwood cordage a different assignment in the wild. Okay, how about willow? Native Americans used willow and cottonwood cordage for a lot of the same tasks. Let's see if it can give a better showing than cottonwood did as cordage for a fire bow. We love using willow for all kinds of projects. The fact that it's so easy to find and easy to collect and process makes it one of our absolute favorites. Let's see if it's a legit option to use as bow and drill cordage. We had no issues at all achieving our first ember with this river willow cord. In fact, we had two embers right in a row. We even got a third ember right as the cord broke on us. So why is this exciting? because willow seems to grow just about everywhere along rivers and small streams. It's relatively easy to prepare, and it has the potential of giving you multiple fires from the same cord. Stinging nettle. It's an all-time favorite, and one of the more common choices for experienced bushcrafters looking for natural cordage. And stinging nettle, in my opinion, deserves every bit of praise that it gets. It's been a family favorite of ours for so many years, I can't even remember a time when I wasn't familiar with the benefits of stinging nettle, specifically for cordage. We're gonna finish off the stinging nettle cord with a black jade stone knife that we put an antler handle on. And honestly, stinging nettle, it's our logical favorite for winning this competition, considering our experience with it. But let's just see how it performs. Now we already knew that we would get a fire from it, but is it strong enough to win the competition? And if so, by how much? Well, we expected at least two to three fires. And sure enough, we had no problems and minimal sign of wear tear after the first couple of attempts. Then we went for three fires, no problem. Four fires, still making it look easy and five fires, it's still holding on strong. Could we get six fires from the same cord? Yeah, we got it again. After six, we were pretty sure it was gonna break on the seventh attempt for sure. But it came through even one more time and reminded us why it has been such a valuable resource today and anciently. Believe it or not, this cord actually didn't break until we were prepping it for an eighth attempt. It just kind of pulled apart with hardly any tension on it at all, as if to say, that's it guys, nothing left to prove here. But little did Stinging Nettle know that an underdog contender had stepped up to give it a challenge. Himalayan Blackberry. These fibers are extremely strong when prepared correctly, and guess what? The process for prepping and wrapping is one of the easiest of any plant fibers, once you get the thorns off. Also, the fresh shoots, they're edible 
and I'll add tender and tasty. Now one of the things we love about blackberry is that you can harvest the fiber, scrape it, wrap it, and put it right to use. We feel pretty confident that it's going to perform well, but stinging nettle cord produced seven embers. That's a pretty tall order for this challenger, but let's see what happens. First three fires had no problems at all and very little fraying. We were confident that we could get a few fires from this, but we had never pushed blackberry all the way to the limit until now to see exactly how far it could go before breaking. And we were definitely impressed. After this first bit of action, we were pretty surprised to see minimal wear on the cord. It looks ready for more action, but do we really think it can close the gap on stinging nettle? Let's keep drilling and see. Four embers. Five embers. Six embers. And then finally, snap. Oh, there it goes. And then we did something controversial and declared Himalayan blackberry the winner. But how could we do that when stinging nettle gave us one more ember? I know it's got to be painful for everyone rooting for stinging nettle, including ourselves, but our decision was quick and final, and here's why. You see, we did this experiment looking through the lens of wilderness survival and the need to get a fire going quick. Stinging nettle is stronger, but it involves more time and more prep. It also should not be used green and fresh right off the stock. We always dry and re-soak our nettles after harvesting, which takes a couple of hours at best. Blackberry was quick, easy, strong, and ready immediately for use, and it was almost as durable as the stinging nettle. In other words, if these two are growing side by side in the wild, and we had to get a fire going, we would always reach carefully for the blackberry every time. However, stinging nettle will always be our choice for long-lasting, stronger cordage, and we will always choose stinging nettle for long-term use over blackberry, because it's just the stronger plant. And the fact is, it's native, and blackberry is not. And that'll always give it the sentimental edge when it comes to us choosing it for our projects. Now, there's just a couple tricks we use to prolong the life of our natural cordage. One is to bow at a slight angle down so the cord doesn't rub on itself. Now I know this conflicts with our rule about keeping the bow level to prevent it from riding up and down on the spindle, but there has to be some room for compromise on this issue or you'll dramatically shorten the life of your cord and it'll break from the heat and the friction. The second trick, most people make their cord is just the right length for their bow and they might get one or two fires from it before it breaks but we decided to always make our cords longer than our bow so we can easily rotate out the frayed portion of the cord once it starts to weaken and then rotate in the fresh unused cord. You might think that this is too much effort to make longer than needed cordage, but since you're already making the cord, why not just spend an extra 10 minutes for the added benefit of extra fire making capacity? We also prolong the lifespan of our cordage by adjusting the position of our spindle on the cord and using different sections of the cord as we're drilling. That's so we don't put all the wear into one section of our hard-earned natural cordage. Hey, this fire series is just getting warmed up, so don't forget to subscribe, give us the old thumbs up, and definitely turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the remaining videos in this series which are just around the corner.